Have you ever played the game of truth or dare? When the bottle spins and points to someone, that person must choose to tell a truth or perform a dare. Today's movie will be incredibly exciting and thrilling. So let's enjoy this movie together right now. The college students are enjoying a grand Halloween party, where four friends, Paul, Chris, Gemma, and Eleanor, raise a toast to celebrate the end of their semester. Paul also shares about a wonderful internship he got, but his girlfriend, Eleanor, uncomfortable with their long-distance relationship, Luke approaches, handing Chris and Paul some illicit goods. Although Paul initially refuses, he eventually agrees to take them. As the party continues, a shy and gentle guy named Felix appears, intently watching the beautiful Gemma from afar. Noticing his special affection for her, Luke approaches him and persuades him to flirt with Gemma. But since Gemma is dating Chris, the two guys know what the outcome will be if Felix tries to ask her out. Therefore, Luke gives Felix some drugs to boost his confidence. After that, Felix approaches Gemma and asks her out, but she politely declines him. However, she encourages him, saying that he will soon find the true love of his life. Right at this moment, Eleanor starts to liven things up with a game of truth or dare. The bottle spins and points to Felix. He decides to choose truth. Eleanor asks Luke who he wants to spend the night with. And when he chooses Gemma, Chris instantly goes mad and starts mocking him. Eleanor tells Chris that they are just joking. But he refuses to listen to the explanations. Felix tries to say that he is just playing the game. But the more he speaks, the angrier Chris gets. When Chris lunges forward to grab Felix in a sensitive area, Felix immediately pushes him away. He stands and punches Felix in the face. Gemma scolds Chris but he shows no sign of regret. A few months later, the same group of friends are invited to Felix's birthday party. It turns out that the guy comes from a wealthy and prestigious family. Chris drives to the mansion with Luke, still resentful towards Felix to this day, constantly blaming him for his breakup with Gemma. Meanwhile, Gemma arrives at the party with Eleanor and Paul, both of whom are also having troubles in their relationship. Paul returned from his internship days ago, but he hasn't touched Eleanor at all. This makes her feel quite insecure, thinking that perhaps Paul has lost interest in her. After a while, they arrive at the magnificent, seemingly abandoned mansion. After that, a man named Woodbridge appears to welcome them. He is also the caretaker of the place. The man tells them the house has been closed a long time, but he still guides them to the place where the party is supposed to be held. It's a cabin in the woods. About half a mile from the mansion, they have to walk. As they cross a stream, Eleanor asks Paul to carry her over, because she is worried about her expensive new shoes. Meanwhile, Chris also turns to offer to carry Gemma, trying to reconnect with her. When they reach the cabin, Felix's brother, Justin welcomes them. Justin apologizes for the confusion and tells them that Felix is still in Chile, where he is volunteering for a hospital project. It turns out this birthday party was meant to be a surprise, but since Felix's flight was cancelled, Justin decided to postpone the party, but he forgot to inform the group. After apologizing, Justin offers some food and drinks and tells them to stay and have a private party. Without hesitation, Paul starts drinking a beer. Justin opens a bottle of champagne for the group and also persuades them to stay. Justin sits down to chat with them, revealing that he is serving in the military and has had three deployments to Afghanistan. They continue talking until Justin observes Chris and Gemma's relationship, saying that she is the type of person Felix really likes. Chris bursts out laughing at this. Justin then questions Chris, asking if he thinks Gemma is not good enough for his brother. Justin's face also looks very perplexed. As Chris mentions how Felix tried to flirt with Gemma at their Halloween party. Then, when Luke comes over with some laughing gas, Justin excuses himself and goes to chat with the two women. Eleanor and Gemma find Justin attractive due to his handsome appearance. So both happily chat with him. They even go so far as to say that they are very close friends with Felix. Eleanor even touches Justin's muscles and tells her friend Gemma to feel them, saying they are very firm. However, Eleanor pulls Gemma a bit too hard, causing her to spill champagne on Justin. They apologize profusely, but Justin says it's fine. As he heads to the room, Eleanor begins planning for Gemma to approach Justin, following him as he changes clothes. While the two are flirting, Luke suddenly appears and interrupts, inviting them outside to join the group for laughing gas. But Justin says he has a more interesting game. They all sit in a circle to play truth or dare. 
and the bottle first points to Eleanor. Chris dares her to date Gemma, so the two women kiss. When Paul also plans to kiss his friend Chris, but Justin immediately shuts it down very harshly. When they spin the bottle again, it points to Gemma. Chris asks her if she wants to get back with him, but she straightforwardly says no. Then, Justin spins the bottle to purposely point at himself, and says he will choose truth. Justin admits that Felix is not in Chile, but that he had hanged himself in this very cabin. At first, some of them laugh it off, not believing him, but Justin insists he is not joking. Justin then recounts that he was in Afghanistan, and when he returned, Felix had hanged himself. Due to family reasons, they decided to keep it secret, even though it brought shame to their family. Furthermore, Justin didn't hesitate to make homophobic remarks. When Paul asked why he invited them here, Justin bluntly tells them that he wants to know what drove Felix to such despair. The group realizes they've been set up, but they are unaware that Justin has a gun on him. Eleanor tries to leave with Paul, but Paul says he's too drunk to drive. Justin hands them a postcard with truth or dare written on it, along with a nasty curse word. Similar to the words Chris had said to Felix at the Halloween party, Justin found it in Felix's pocket when he hung himself. So it could be the reason why he did it. Chris tries to leave the cabin, but Justin blocks his way. Exasperated, he tries to punch Justin, but fighting a trained soldier is like hitting a brick wall. Eleanor approaches Justin from behind with a wine bottle, but Justin quickly turns and slaps her in the face. When Paul tries to help his girlfriend, Justin immediately pulls out a gun and shoots him in the leg. Despite Gemma's desperate pleas for him not to hurt anyone, terrified, Paul calls for help. But Justin immediately shoots at Paul's phone from a distance, blowing off some of his fingers. Justin then orders Luke to tie everyone to chairs and confiscate their belongings. To save their lives, Luke follows Justin's orders like a loyal henchman. Justin repeatedly asks about the postcard, but none of them admit to it, trying to convince him they had nothing to do with it. Justin then gives them some privacy to discuss the matter and steps outside the cabin with Luke. Justin asks Luke if he was the one who sent the postcard, but he immediately denies it. Luke says he's just the guy who delivered contraband. He didn't even know Felix that well. Luke tries to convince Justin to let the matter go, but Justin is deeply troubled by his brother's death. Justin then asks about the Halloween party and learns that Luke sold drugs to Felix to give him the courage to ask Gemma out. Although Justin disapproves of Luke's actions, he doesn't make it difficult for him, just asking Luke who he thinks sent the postcard. Meanwhile, the group inside starts arguing about the postcard. Eleanor and Gemma believe Chris did it. Because of the things he said and because Felix was the reason Gemma broke up with him. However, Paul trusts that Chris wouldn't do that. Paul urges his friends to stop attacking each other and focus on escaping. He tells them to keep trying to free their hands. Then directs Gemma to the desk behind her. Looking for any tools they can use to escape. Unfortunately, Gemma's chair tips over, alerting Justin outside. When the two men come back in, Paul tries to convince Justin to let them go but he says the game has just begun. First, Justin spins the bottle and it points at Gemma, so he asks her who she thinks sent the postcard. When she says she doesn't know, Justin slaps her hard. With no other choice, Gemma blames Chris. Everyone else starts blaming Chris as well. However, Chris has an alibi as he was in Spain at the time. While the postcard was sent from London, to save their own lives, the group starts arguing and blaming each other loudly. Justin fires a warning shot to silence them and continue the game. When the bottle points at Chris, he defiantly chooses a challenge to see what Justin can do. Justin immediately brings in a cart for an acid challenge. The group begs Luke for help but he ignores their pleas. Justin then inserts a tube down Gemma's throat connected to two containers. One containing tap water and the other acid. Justin challenges Chris to choose between the containers, but Chris refuses to choose prompting Justin to threaten. Justin threatens that if Chris doesn't choose, he will open the acid container directly. Thus, Chris reluctantly chooses the left container. Luckily, it is the correct choice. A while later, Justin spins the bottle again, and it points to Eleanor. She chooses truth. Justin asks her who she wants to take the next acid challenge, but she says she doesn't want anyone to do it. Justin tells Eleanor that if she doesn't choose someone, she will be the one to take the acid challenge. Eventually, she chooses Chris, 
Exhausted, Chris directly confesses to sending the postcard, but Justin knows he's lying. Since he previously claimed to have an alibi, then Paul speaks up, telling Justin that none of them were friends with Felix. Because no one liked him, Paul calls Felix a pervert. Revealing that he saw Felix spying on him and Eleanor being intimate, Paul even calls Felix gay. Which angers Justin. He starts using derogatory language against homosexuals again. Justin forces Paul to pick a container for Chris's acid challenge, but Paul chooses incorrectly. Everyone is terrified, crying as they watch Chris writhe in pain, bleeding from his mouth before dying. Before Justin can continue the game, a knock on the door interrupts them. A friend who supplies drugs to Luke, named Jonesy, had tracked Luke's GPS and shows up wanting to join the party, but Luke tries to turn him away. Jonesy gets angry, accusing Luke of being selfish, but when Justin comes out to check, Luke changes his tone. Justin invites Jonesy to join them, but he refuses and suddenly sprays mace in Justin's face. However, Justin quickly turns the tables, breaking Jonesy's arm and spraying mace back at him. Then to test Luke, Justin hands him a gun and orders him to shoot Jonesy. Luke now faces two choices. He can aim at either Jonesy or Justin, with only three random bullets left in the gun. If Jonesy is lucky and gets an empty chamber, Justin will let him go. But if Luke shoots at Justin and it's an empty chamber, he will kill everyone. So reluctantly, Luke kills Jonesy. Inside the cabin, the group tries to escape by guiding Gemma to swivel her chair towards the desk, despite falling again. She manages to retrieve tools and grabs a saw. While Justin is preoccupied outside, Gemma frees herself and prepares to release the others, but Eleanor urges her to run as time is running out. Gemma follows her advice. This angers Paul, feeling they could have all escaped. However, Eleanor knows that with Paul's injured leg, he wouldn't get far. Outside, Luke starts to break down over having killed someone. He tries to return the gun to Justin, but Justin tells him to keep it, saying he trusts him more now. Luke fears the consequences of his actions, but Justin promises that his powerful family will protect them. So Luke fully sides with Justin. They then drag Jonas's body inside. When Justin realizes Gemma has escaped, he immediately runs to the car to search for her, leaving Luke to guard Eleanor and Paul. Meanwhile, Gemma reaches the mansion and is shocked to see Felix. It turns out he is still alive. However, Felix is bedridden and nearly completely paralyzed. Witnessing everything in the wooden cabin through a screen, Gemma interrogated him about this cruelty, but he couldn't answer. Instead, Felix warned Gemma with his eyes that someone was behind her. And when she turned around, she saw Woodbridge aiming a gun at her. He was the one who had saved Felix and was currently caring for Felix. After he attempted suicide, unfortunately, Felix finally suffered brain damage when the OXY supply was cut off from his brain. Gemma tried to run and hide under the bed. After a while of shaking, she took Felix hostage, noticing he had a small knife embedded in his finger. Woodbridge had to relent, leave his weapon behind and depart. Gemma immediately grabbed the gun and slowly stepped outside, but Woodbridge was lying in wait to ambush her, and as they collided, she accidentally shot him dead. She turned back to Felix and borrowed a phone, but he just pointed to the computer. As Gemma tried to seek help, the internet suddenly went out. Now she realized Justin had caught up with her. Gemma once again tried to escape but Justin dragged her back into Felix's room. There, Justin tortured Gemma in front of Felix. He closed his eyes as he didn't want to see her die. Back in the wooden cabin, Eleanor tried to persuade Luke to leave, but he was too afraid of Justin and believed he would be protected by him. Eleanor then realized Luke was the one who sent the postcard. Luke explained he did it as a joke. A spur-of-the-moment decision out of jealousy for Felix's wealthy background, Paul begged Luke for help as he was bleeding out. He needs a doctor and asks Luke to make a call for him. Eleanor also requests Luke to come towards her, but this is just a ploy for Luke to get closer to her and she bites off his finger. She tries to free herself and fights with Luke, pushing him hard and smashing his head into a rake. Eleanor quickly frees Paul and grabs the gun. There's no time to waste. Eleanor tries to flee with Paul, but now Justin returns with Felix in a wheelchair. Eleanor hesitates not and shoots them both in the shoulders, but as she moves closer to finish him off with the last bullet, he deflects the gun and stabs her with a screwdriver, they both end up grappling on the floor, but Paul comes to Eleanor's aid and stabs Justin. Eleanor then smashes an acid container on Justin's head in moments later. 
he finds himself blinded by a pole. Meanwhile, Paul just wants to go home but Eleanor isn't finished yet. Instead, she forces Paul out of the car, asking for a moment with the two brothers. And as Paul waits outside in Justin's car, he is surprised to see Gemma's body inside. When Paul leaves, Eleanor asks Felix to play truth or dare. That's how she'll know why Felix tried to kill himself. Eleanor urges him to look at the person he fears the most. It's no surprise when Felix looks at his own brother. And that's when Eleanor starts revealing the truth. It turns out Eleanor's father went bankrupt. So she asked Felix if his family could help them. Eleanor then recorded a scene of intimacy with Felix. Something for blackmail. But felt it wasn't enough. During the Halloween party that night, Paul and Eleanor went upstairs. But before they could do anything, Paul got too drunk and passed out. So she persuaded Felix to be intimate with Paul and filmed it. Afraid her homophobic brother might see the video. Felix ultimately decided to commit suicide. Now the truth is finally revealed. Eleanor hands Felix a grenade. Locking the pin to his hand. Then she steps out of the wooden cabin and into the car. Felix stays behind, seeing the resentment in his brother's eyes. He finally decides to pull the pin. With tear-filled eyes, Eleanor drives away with Paul and Gemma's body. What do you think of this movie? Don't forget to like and subscribe to support Box Channel for more movies every day. Thank you for watching.